While Republicans are working every day to build up our country, the rage-filled Democrat Party is trying to tear America apart. A vote for any Democrat in 2020 is a vote for the rise of radical socialism and the destruction of our great, our beautiful, our wonderful American dream. On issue after issue, Democrats have forgotten who it is that they're supposed to represent. Our shared Republican agenda is pro-worker, pro-jobs, pro-family, pro-growth, and 100 percent pro-America. I was watching the so-called debate last night. The Democrats spent more time attacking Barack Obama than they did attacking me, practically. Yeah. Big line, big night. Last night, the president unleashing on his political opponents uh, at the rally in Ohio, pointing out one of the recurring mentions from the second night of debates, and that was former President Barack Obama and the hits that he was taking on stage. Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House, you can sign up for his free newsletter at Gingrich360.com. Sir, thanks for your time. You, you got a cottage industry going there. Go, go ahead and frame the argument that the uh, president is making there from last night, sir. Look, I think um, Kim Strassel did a great job with the column uh, where she said the choice is between the left and the crazy left, and the crazy left is winning. Uh, I watched uh, the first night. It was amazing the level of anger that you got out of, out of both Bernie Sanders uh, and uh, Senator Warren. I mean, these are really angry people, uh, and it was kind of amazing to watch them. It's the opposite of how people normally win the presidency. You go back and you watch Barack Obama with a big smile. You watch Ronald Reagan with a big smile. I don't remember us electing an angry president uh, literally in my lifetime. And yet you had these people who were almost in a rage. Uh, you also had the fact that they're all drifting towards cloud cuckoo land. I mean, <clears throat> when you have a number of moderate Democrats on the stage, and they'll all be gone soon because they're not getting enough support to survive. But they're on the stage and they're saying, one of them said, if we go down this road of taking away everybody's health insurance, we'll be lucky to carry two states. Now, that was a Democrat in the debate warning his fellow Democrats that they could be throwing away the presidency. Uh, and I think we have to take that seriously. And, of course, <clears throat> the president is watching all this, uh, and he's exactly right. And he wants to stoke uh, the fire a little bit about Obama. What, what's turned out is that President Obama is no longer radical enough for the left wing of the Democratic Party. So you're going to end up with Biden defending Obama while the rest of the party attacks him. <clears throat> the truth is, on things like deportation, President Obama deported more illegal immigrants than any other president in American history uh, on, in terms of the Affordable Care Act, which was not affordable, but it didn't cover everybody that left wingers want to cover. And so you can go down a list and you'll realize there's a real fault line in the Democratic Party, and we're watching it play out in these debates. Okay, so to, to that point a little bit, you mentioned the Strassel op-ed. Here's the title of that for our viewers here. The left versus the crazy left. If you're looking for a moderate president, you won't find one in the Democratic field. It goes to the point that you're making. From Ohio in 2016, uh, here's how the pre he won it by eight points. You know, this is a battleground that we've been going back for decades in Ohio, and he, well, it's, it, it kind of takes it almost out the margin of error from 2016. We'll see where they are now. Right. But, Mr. Speaker, you, you had 17,500 in that arena last night. And then you ask yourself, what's the appeal? What's going on in middle America? Uh, Limbaugh framed it this way with Hannity last night. Everybody wants to improve their life for their family, for themselves. He touches me. He's got a bond. With, with his voters that nobody can break. There's not one person, Sean, on that Democrat stage the last two nights that can even be on stage with Trump and not be overshadowed simply by his presence before he even opens his mouth. Uh, what about that, that, that presence, that, that personality? Look, he walks out <laughs> of that stage and the joint goes crazy. You cannot ignore that. Go well, ahead. No, I mean, first of all, this is one of the amazing charismatic leaders in American history, and only the hatred of the left and the hatred of the elite media blocks them from seeing that and realizing it. Uh, I mean, he's, he's both a very, very smart guy, but he's also turned out to be very charismatic. Now, what's part of that charisma? Well, 
wages are going up. If, if you're a regular blue-collar worker, you've had the best pay raises in the last two years you've seen in 20 years. Jobs are getting better. If you're African-American, you have the highest employment rate in history for African-Americans. Uh, if you're proud of America, you have a president who goes around saying he's proud to be an American. And you have your choice is a bunch of Democrats who seem confused about what country they want to be president of, and a guy who goes around and in a place like Ohio. I was born in Pennsylvania. Uh, <clears throat> my wife is from Wisconsin. You get into classic America, get out of New York City, get out of Los Angeles, and, and to some extent get out of Washington, and the rest of the country, people are still very proud of America, and they actually want a president who's proud of America. They're also watching him be tough. I mean, look what he's doing to the Chinese on tariffs. He, he might like Xi Jinping, uh, but he's being about as tough, tougher than any president in modern times uh, in dealing with the Chinese. He just put sanctions on the Russians. Uh, every time you turn around, it turns out this guy's real. And the stuff he's doing is real. And by the way, with Mitch McConnell's amazing leadership in the Senate, they have done the most, from a conservative standpoint, the most extraordinary job of filling up con conservative judges way beyond anything I would have thought possible two years ago. So I think there's a reason. This is a charisma based on results, not just a charisma based on froth. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It sounds like a campaign, and the American people will make a decision in about a year and a half. Newt Gingrich, thank you for your time today. Thank you. You bet.